So I'm going to cover a bunch of different features in this video. We're going to talk about group, ungroup, weld, and attach because there's a lot of confusion on which does what. So we're going to start with the design that we created here and we're going to click on this feature right here. Currently this is grouped together. That means that if we want to move it around it's going to move around all together as one. However, when it's grouped it does not cut together. So let's take a look at what happens here. So we have a grouped and it doesn't cut together. It actually wastes a lot of vinyl because it cuts in all different pieces and they're not nicely linked together in here. So we're going to go in here and the first thing we're going to do with this is we're going to just attach them. Okay. So now when you go to make it and you go over to that mat, they are all attached in the way that you wanted to have them cut. Also saves a lot of vinyl and it's just going to be a lot, you know, it's going to be more cost effective. It's going to be easier for you when you go to put it on your design. But you do, grouping does not do that. All grouping does is allow you to move it around together. It allows you to do things like resize, things of that nature. But attach is what allows it to cut together. Now, weld would do the same thing. However, in this particular instance, there's really no need for weld because they are all individual pieces and they aren't touching. So we're going to undo our weld here because the disadvantage of weld over attach is that once you save it, you cannot unweld it. So if you are going to be doing any welding and you're not quite sure, you might want to save your project, then continue to work on it. And that way, if you unintentionally save it and it's welded, you still have a backup where you can undo that feature. Now, in this particular case, these are currently grouped, so we're going to ungroup those. Now what happens is if we go to move it, they move individually. Okay, So they're also going to cut individually. Uh, if you resize one, it's going to resize individually. Pretty basic concept there. So let's go ahead and get that back where it was. And now they are grouped again. All right. So in this case, I'm actually going to ungroup it. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to rotate it across. Now I can group this. This isn't for pretty or anything. This is for demonstration purposes only. I can still grab all my other items, group them back together. And now that allows me to move and size them together as a group. So proportionately, everything stays the same. Okay. Now for cutting purposes, we can also attach. But what's going to happen when we go to do this is that while they are attached, they're going to cut individually. So every line on here is going to cut. So we're going to cut right through those two. So you're going to have five pieces here when you're done instead of three. All right. So the way to avoid that, that's when welding comes into play. So if we weld this, now that is all one piece. So when it goes to cut, it is actually going to cut as one piece there. You'll notice there's no lines cutting across here. Okay. And actually, instead of five pieces, it would have been seven because you would have had the little pieces in between too. All right. So that kind of shows us the, the advantages of welding. Now, I have not saved my project, so I can still undo my welding. However, if I had saved that project, I would no longer be able to unweld it. Okay, so group and ungroup. So right now we are grouped. Actually, we're attached. So if we detach, we look at this, we are grouped together. We can ungroup it. Now that means that each individual piece is its own separate entity and moves individually of everything else. When we group everything back together, now they move together, but they are still three individual pieces. Okay. If we go to cut them, they are going to cut as all three individual pieces. Tends to waste a lot of vinyl a lot of times. Okay. And then if we go back in here, if we want them to um, cut as one piece, we need to weld. Now, if we were to, let's ungroup these real quick and rotate this around. Whoops. Now, in this case, 
attaching them is not a big isn't going to do any difference from welding except it's going to label it's going to allow us to untouch them later so again when we attach they cut together Ooh, I didn't get that one attached so important to make sure you catch all of them because it looks like it because of how it was set together so but you can see right over here it tells me that these are attached and this one is not so I can just grab attach there. I can hold down my shift and grab that. And now I can attach and all of them are attached together and they'll cut and not waste as much vinyl. Okay. One of the things that's really important when you combine script fonts together, it is important that at that time you do weld. Otherwise you're going to have an ugly cut. So if we attach some, if we take these, Let's just use Magnolia Sky because it's a pretty font. And I'm going to move those real close. I did a negative 0.7 on my letter space to kind of move them in. Okay. Now, again, ungrouping can be very beneficial here because they aren't all attached. I moved them real close in. So now if I ungroup this, I can pull them all in together. Slide across like this, I can regroup them. Okay, But if I go to make it and all I've done is group them, again, all my letters are separate. If I attach them, Great, now all my letters stay together, but one of the things that we need to look at here is that I'm gonna have a cut line between every single letter. And we don't want that when we have a pretty scripted font. So that is when welding is gonna come into place. And now when I go to make that particular one, we can see it's cutting as one piece. There's no cut lines in between the letters. So hopefully that helps explain welding, attach, group, and ungroup. I know there are two separate menu parts of the menu, but they really all kind of are interchangeable in certain aspects. And then in other aspects, they do completely different things. And I think a lot of people tend to confuse which does which.